And that hurricane has finally started to substantially weaken right now has winds of 85 miles per hour with the latest advisory as it's moving over the Yucatan Peninsula right now you can notice uh, it's not that very well defined category three four or even five major hurricane that it once was but as soon as it heads over the center anyway it gets past the land and gets back into the Gulf of Mexico it will certainly have time to strengthen that's exactly what the National Hurricane Center is thinking once it does get uh, start to make this right hand turn as it pushes towards Texas thinking category one hurricane again. So it certainly is something that they need to watch here locally. We're tracking a few showers. That's all we have to watch for right now. The chance of storms exists though later on today and especially for tomorrow. A few of these showers uh, say through New Britain, down through Wallingford, Meriden, up through Waterbury. But you notice that they've been weakening as they make their way from west to east. So some good news there. Our temperature trend, though, that's not the best if you don't like the heat, because what we're going to see starting on Sunday is temperatures climbing to near 90, low 90s by Monday. And if we get there for Sunday, Monday, and maybe Tuesday, that would give us our second heat wave of the year. Now, what we're forecasting, or at least what we're seeing for today from the Weather Prediction Center, is the chance for excessive rainfall in any of these downpours. Some of them have put down a quick quarter of an inch to a half of an inch of rain. Now tomorrow, it encompasses as well all of Connecticut, but most of the Northeast as well. So something that we'll be keeping a track, keeping an eye on. Our first alert is for tomorrow for some morning rain and storms as well as the afternoon and plenty of activities this weekend with the fireworks that we have, uh, any parades that are going on, any barbecues is certainly gonna wanna keep an eye to the sky as we get closer to not just for tonight, but as well as into tomorrow. Here's a look at our first alert future cast. So right now we have some of those showers out there. Not too bad. We'll get a little break. And then later on this evening, that's when we're going to notice some redevelopment, especially farther towards the west. And some of this could have some heavy downpours, maybe a gusty wind, 40, 50 miles per hour, and some lightning with it. So any plans outdoors, if you're heading to any of the fireworks, we have Lake Compounds and several other large towns and cities that are doing them tonight. You certainly want to have that umbrella nearby. You notice even then, we get to tomorrow morning, so it's, it's very humid overnight. It's cloudy and foggy in the morning, and then First Alert Futurecast wants to depict the line of showers and storms to start the day, expecting redevelopment though later on in the evening. By the time we get to Sunday, starting off with some clouds and then clearing in later in the afternoon, which will allow us temperatures to climb to near 90 degrees by the time we get to Sunday, remaining a bit unsettled though beyond that. Temperatures today climbing at least to those 80s, at least where it is right now, I should say. They climb though to those middle and maybe near upper 80s. Your first alert seven day forecast. Our first alert is for tomorrow, 87 degrees. By the time we get to Sunday, looking at clouds to start the day, but near 90. And then by Monday, 93, it's hot and humid with unsettled weather remaining for the end of next week. Cassidy.